Welcome to the Visual Studio Code intro video on extensions. Today I'm going to show you how to install, uninstall, and manage your extensions. You can get to extensions by clicking this icon right here in the activity bar. I don't have any extensions installed, so the first thing it does is query the marketplace and show me all the most popular extensions. I'm searching for an extension to help me um, come from Sublime. So I'm going to type Sublime Text, Sublime Text Key Map. So this Sublime Text Key Map, um, we can see all of the information here. This is provided by the README. So it ports the Sublime Text keyboard shortcuts to Visual Studio Code. So this is exactly what I'm looking for. I can click this Contributions tab and this shows me all of the commands um, that are mapped uh, in the Sublime Text Key Map extension to VS Code. Um, and specifically for this one, I'm looking for the keyboard shortcuts. So I want to have the keyboard shortcuts I had in Sublime added here to VS Code. So contribution shows commands and settings as well as other things. The change log shows when there's version changes, so there's no change log for this extension and dependency shows if there's any other extensions that are also installed. So to install this extension, I'm going to click install and then reload. It'll ask me if I want to reload the window. Yes, I do. And now I have this extension installed. This is my list of installed extensions. If we want to go and install another one, click this more and then show popular extensions. So now I'm looking to do some Python development. So I'm going to look here. This one's really popular, um, but let's see if there's any others. I'll type Python. So you can see there's a whole bunch of different Python extensions. If I click here, we can do a similar thing we did for the other extension. We can see the README, so it looks like linting, IntelliSense. Um, here's the documentation, feature details. Um, and oh look, there's even animated GIFs, so we can see how things are pre we can preview before we install all the way through. You can see the different contributions. Now there's a lot here for the Python extension, including a debugger, um, different language uh, features, commands, and settings added by the Python extension. Install. It'll take a minute. This extension is a little bit uh, larger. Reload. And there we go. Now, say I want to, I'm, I'm using this extension. I decide it's for this workspace. Um, I actually want to disable it. I can go here, workspace disable, and reload. Notice that it's grayed out now. That means that it's disabled. And then, alternatively, I can go here and enable it, reload again. You can search the marketplace directly. So say we're looking for something for Node. We type Node. And then it's sorted by relevance by default. We can also sort by install count or we can sort by rating. You can see the title, the description, and the publisher right here in line. Maybe we're not sure what extensions to install. We can do show recommended extensions. What this does is that we keep track of the files that you've opened in the past. So if you open C Sharp files, C++, and I've opened all of these, and it will recommend, hey, here's some extensions we think you could use, um, including Docker, PHP, Git History, TSLint. Or maybe I just want for this specific workspace. Okay, so there's nothing right now for this specific workspace because I haven't opened any files. We can see recommended key maps if you want to see our curated list of key map extensions that are good, including Vim, IntelliJ, Atom, and Sublime Text that I showed you before. And then finally, if you're using an internal extension, something that's not published to the marketplace, you can install that directly. Um, we call it sideloading. So here's one we use internally. You can just click this v6 file, open, and then it says let's reload and now that uh, v6 file shows up here in my list of installed extensions. So you can do a ton of different things with extensions. One of my favorite things about VS Code is that you can make the tool your own by installing only those features that you really need. Check out the marketplace. We have over 1500 extensions and new ones are being added every day. You can see the extension marketplace here in product and you can also go to marketplace.visualstudio.com 
to see more um, on the Marketplace's website. Thank you and have a great day.